Amen. God, man and women, mankind, you should you should be bearing His image. Well, God is love, so everything that you do should bear His image. Everything you say should bear His image. Out here at the church, Jordan. Like, can we see Jordan? Jordan. <laughs> So, so, that's right. That's Keenan. So discreet. <laughs> Not at all. I don't do discreet. <laughs> we don't do discreet. <laughs> you lucky I don't have the big one. Yeah. I want. I wonder what she let me try on her jacket. I don't know. I kind. I kind of want it. <laughs> I kind of want the jacket. Are like here. Nah, yes. maybe. Hmm. You're gonna go like this and stop there. <laughs> but but, right here. but the question is, would she let me try? I think she would. Go go ask her. You ask her. I, I hold the camera. That's not what I like Kaylee. Yes. I saw your. I, I like your jacket. Thank you. Oh, I, I want to know if I can try it on. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> 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 My jacket is gonna. You're gonna stretch it out. I, I am. I'm smaller than I appear. <laughs> I have on a sweater. I would take the sweater off. No. <laughs> Why do you want to wear it? It looks really nice, and I was like, man, I bet I would look good in that. You're not gonna fit it. <laughs> yes. All right, I gotta go to the police. Meeting. Okay. Good luck. Have fun. I'm sad now. <laughs> what is this? That's that's crazy. She's not going anywhere in that skirt, so I think we're good. <laughs> and she's got built-in heels. <laughs> Hold on, I got. That's about to be hiked up. That's about to be hiked up. That's weapons right there. Yeah, put this on. <laughs> we gotta talk about this. I don't know, man. This could be like a movie idea, like. Context, context-wise, Keenan said that what if all the mannequins oh, no. in the mall came to life and started attacking us? These ones have eyes. You don't mess with the ones with eyes. The, does that make their power level stronger? That makes them power, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Is this metal? <laughs> oh, no, we can take her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she gonna get it. <laughs> these, ones got, these ones got eyes and hair, though. Yeah, they, they balance them out, though. They got eyes to so make them more dangerous, but they not tanky as like the other ones. Oh, these ones have. A... They're more sniper based. Okay, these are easy too. Yeah. So the less human they look, the better, the worse off we are. That sounds about right, anyway. <laughs> they're they're oh, yeah. the enemy. I think we've got her pretty good. She's already chipping. Yeah, there you go. Do they make lotion for mannequins? Well, that would be a crazy like movie. Like imagine, like uh, people are somebody comes to the mall. If something happens where they're like in the bathroom, maybe their stomach is bubbling. <laughs> and so, so they, close, <laughs> they close the ball down, right? Uh -huh. And then it's like, oh, I can't get out. And then they're like shaking on the door and stuff. And they're like, I can't get out. And next thing you know, they turn around and like, but no, behind them. Yes. So behind them, you see all the mannequins' head starts to turn. Like they, they're sitting there and it's just. So it's like a scary toy story. Yeah. And then somebody's like, man, what am I doing? They turn around, and then next thing you know, all the mannequins are attacking. Bro, that would be dull. <laughs> I don't think you can make a whole movie out of that, though, but like a short, like, war scene. Like, this one guy has to go to war with the whole army of mannequins from the entire mall. Just don't get caught in dicks. Yeah, because they got guns and knives and machetes. <laughs> dicks mannequins? Are jacked. <laughs> the Dick Sporting Good mannequins are like six five, and they're metal. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it'd be rough there. What's that one gonna do to you? Yeah, we. <laughs> no, they'd be like body parts crawling on the ground and stuff. But what if they like converge? Like they combine with other yeah. other mannequins that don't have full bodies. Yeah. That I ain't gonna lie. That's 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 kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of terrifying too. Leilani said they should use other mannequins as weapons. So like like that mannequin that was just butt cheeks. 
it'll be th those will be thrown at you by the American. <laughs> that means they'd be throwing the chads at us. Now all we need is a mall and a group of people willing to dress up like mannequins. <laughs> or owns a boutique. Yeah, but the boutique is small and it's like not as scary. I mean, how, how much can a mannequin cost? I looked into this. They they kind of expensive. Oh. They're like three, four hundred dollars each. Oh. Yeah. We'll just use the same one. That's why I said it'll be cheaper to get like some of those green suits, like full body morph suits. Digitally alter them in the in the video. Just make you smooth. And yeah, just smooth and like whitish, grayish, or maybe even like a have a textured look. And then have people in wearing the suits. We just wouldn't be able to do like the mannequins that are like all arms or something like that. It'll be like full body. Oh, we could. We could. We just got to find the right people. Well, <laughs> look, there's, there's money for everybody. There's out money here. for everybody, I guess. <laughs> that is a unique way of looking at it. There's money for everybody. <laughs> Keenan's trying to get everybody hired. <laughs> oh, look at those cows. No, they, they'd be hitting us hard. Yeah, those mannequins kind of swollen with the leg. <laughs> They'd be kind of strong over there. <laughs> They'd be kind of strong. Okay, so if the mannequins came alive, right? Okay. Would the toys come alive too? Or would it just be my mannequins? I think, I think if it's like a short film, then maybe just mannequins. But like if it was like a feature film with like uh, some serious money behind it, like, I think it'll make a good scene, a good movie, like, like a good horror movie with like Night of the Museum vibes. Mm. Because that is a weird like, movie. A I, like an iRobot type deal? Yeah, like, we're in a world where they came to life with those some curves. Okay. Alright, so now we have magic. Okay. But if this is a good, this is more futuristic. For some reason, mannequins have chips in them or whatever. Now you have to deal with the true evil doer. I feel like the robot thing is kind of scarier. Because remember when Ray was using the AI and it predicted her favorite character based off their conversation? No. Oh, you, she didn't say about that? Yeah, she, so she was talking to the AI about Steven Universe. Uh huh. And she, then she asked it if it can guess her favorite character. And it did, it, and it told her like, based on these things that we talked about thus far, like your favorite character would be so and so because of X Y Z. So if they're that, if it's that smart, then they can learn your fighting style before fighting you. Oh, <laughs> no, you just have to be chaotic the whole time. Yeah, you can't give any like patterns or predictions or any kind of way. So robots, aliens. That's what I was thinking, aliens. Oh, if the mannequins were, if the mannequins were aliens and they pretend to be mannequins to like hide in plain sight. <laughs> the his mannequins kind of swole over there. <laughs> they look like super soldiers. It'd be like fighting a whole bunch of Captain Americas. And they don't have heads, so they're just strong. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where the kid at? No, they're fast. Oh, oh yeah, they're gonna be the fast ones. <laughs> Those are gonna be worse than the big ones. They gonna be speedy. There's Bruh, look at this mofo right here, the red. <laughs> Why his chest so big, man? The kids are the ones that like just run and then they do like the crazy flips and stuff and just latch onto you. Yeah. Or the big ones throw them at you and then they latch onto you. <sighs> I don't know. That's a cool idea. This is a cool idea, though. That's terrifying. The Joe from Family Guys. <laughs> <laughs> They're the Joes. Telling you, y'all have money. Mm. <laughs> Bruh, if we had money, it'd be over with. Your streaming service is gonna be at the wackiest of all. Bruh, everybody would watch it though. I know. That's why we just got we gotta start we gotta start now with stuff that don't take as much money, so we could work our See way. See those up. ones right there? They would they would just be doing like a little tap dance thing, no, and then they'd that. fight us like that. <laughs> Oh, the fighters would just kick. Oh yeah. No, but look how they're dressed though. Those are those, like you know those old like fifties 
dance numbers that they always put in the movies. <laughs> That's what they would be doing, but just the legs. Just the legs. And they'd be fighting us like that. They just take on the, the characteristics of what they're wearing. Oh. The personality of what they're wearing. That'd be cool too. So the girls in like the long gowns and stuff we saw earlier. Oh no, those ones got actual color too. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we the more detail, but the more detail human light, they're supposed to be like yeah, they're weaker. weaker. They're weaker. They're weaker, yeah. So we don't have to worry too much about them. Think about it like this, so in the movie, right, he's trapped in the mall. Like either one guy or two guys trapped in the mall. Or so. It'd be scattered people. Yeah, and they eventually meet up, you know. Mm. But like they start to realize like the characteristics of the mannequins and stuff and start talking about like like what they've noticed and stuff. Yeah, so it seems like their personalities are these. You have access to the food court. So fire would be your strongest weapon. Huh. That's the most destructive weapon. <laughs> you probably have access to the food court. But since the food court is the common area, I think all the all the mannequin zombies would have access to that area as well. And I, so I you also have to fight your way like through. If if you introduce fire, right? If you light one of the mannequins on fire, you're also getting rid of the only layer of them that won't hurt you. Oh, uh, the soft clothing. <laughs> 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 what if they're flammable? But they just keep fighting you. <laughs> no, that's, that's cool. sprinklers too, though. My first flame off. Bruh, it'll be like this scene in Tony Ja where the water's everywhere. Yeah. And then he's trying to fight Tony Ja. Latif is trying to fight Tony Ja. There's water everywhere and fire everywhere. So, but the mannequins will be on fire, and then the, the ground will be completely wet because of the sprinkler system. <laughs> We need a studio. That would be cool. If we could just like, just get somebody to just give us all this stuff. <laughs> like the studio, costumes, and just the money too. Of course the money. Yeah. We'd, be, we'd be set. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this at all. What, the cloudies? Yeah. It's it definitely not good on camera. It's just like wet air. Ready Player One is a movie about this game. It was like an MMORPG. Uh -huh. And it takes place in this game called the Oasis. And the Oasis is this, it's almost like a multiverse of every game you've ever played. I remember the previews to that. Okay, so my theory is that they're doing that with Fortnite. <laughs> like with all the skids and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because like, bro, when you watch the movie, they find like items and stuff that like summon like characters from other games and stuff. And they got like different skins to make themselves look like certain stuff. And I'm like, bro, this is Fortnite. They have to create like um, different game modes. And then they'll be there. Like besides the Battle Royale, like they have saved the world mode already. Which I have to go back and try it out because I don't, I don't know what it's like. But it's basically a zombie apocalypse type deal and you run around and shoot and blah, blah, blah. Last time I played it, it wasn't great. It, was, it's not, it wasn't good at all, actually. It was pretty bad. But if they fix that mode and then they make other modes, like let's say like since Spellbreak shut down, right? What if they had a magic mode where it's a battle royale, but it's basically Spellbreak. Whole new map. Whole different story all magic based and you can still use the same skins and stuff in that mode but and they could just release skins specific for that mode but you can still carry them on to other game modes and stuff they will make so much money <laughs> like they're not until they line like what if they made like a fortnite racing game like that was like mario kart you remember uh mortal yeah. kombat racing Mortal, no, I don't know. What? Mortal Kombat What? Racing. You're talking about me, but I've never seen Ready Player One. Bruh. And you've never Bruh, played. Bruh, don't start that. And you, <laughs> that's not the same. It is, ex it's worse, actually. <laughs> you've never played Mortal Kombat Racing? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, I probably have heard of that and realized that I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> it's so great. Mortal Kombat. It's so good. It sounds awful. It's so good. <laughs> 
What about Rhino Games? I remember Rhino. Yeah, Rhino Games was lit. I bought my favorite game of all time from Rhino Games when I was a kid. What's that game? War of the Monsters. War of the Monsters for what platform? PlayStation. Oh, I don't know that one. War of the Monsters. Maybe they got it. Where's the PlayStation 2? If they have it, I'm buying it. I don't even have a PlayStation 2. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z Budokai. I'm look, I need to find that. I'll buy that. I need Budokai 3. Oh, my disc is missing. They don't have it. That hurts. Well, time to look for mine. <laughs> I don't want a Budokai Tenkaichi 4. What? I am so... What's the difference between that and Xenoverse? The Tenkaichi games were good. But, yeah, but they... The third one was not. They transitioned over to Xenoverse after that. And it's like almost the same type of play style. No, the Tenkaichis were like, you didn't have your specials on to a specific button. Like all your moves and stuff were mapped out to where you had to make the combos yourself. In Tenkaichi? Yeah. Okay. So in Xenoverse, they're not like that. Is it like basically a more watered down? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. It's like as long as you're holding your button in this direction, then he'll do this combo, and in this direction, he'll do that combo. Oh, so it simplified it. Yeah. Uh, maybe everybody else thought it was too hard. Because they suck. Oh, uh, they made Soul, Soul Calibur? That's like classic fighting game. Right. If they, gave it a, um, they gave it a rock, paper, scissors mechanic. <sighs> that's, that's disappointing. It is. <laughs> it don't look like they got any DBZ for PS2. Well, that one was Budokai, wasn't it? Or was that? That was for GameCube. Mm -hmm. uh, I would prefer it to be on PlayStation, but Enter the Matrix was good. I didn't play that. My dad, I saw my dad play it though. That was cool. What about Sly Cooper? Classic. I just said he could beat you. Who? I just said he would destroy you in DDR. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> you ever seen that girl on DDR met for? <laughs> <laughs> she would destroy me. Nigel said that you would destroy him in losing. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the yeah. Sonic Mega Collection. I think I have this one. <laughs> you ever play Sonic Heroes? Of course I have. That's so cute. 